Good day, fellow dog lover. Thank you for joining us. Today, we're going to show you the highlights of the 205th FCI Old Breed Championship Dog Show. This is our second episode on our PCCI Dog Show series for the year 2002. If you enjoy watching our videos, please make sure to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button below. This is going to be the first time after more than two years the PCCI is holding dog show in its own showgrounds. All exhibitors are excited. To start with, let's introduce our judge. Our judge is Mr. Godofredo Salud. He is an experienced Doberman specialist breeder, trainer, keen exhibitor, and successful campaigner of remarkable Dobermans for many years. He has also bred champion whippets, including the first PCI locally bred Hall of Fame for this breed. He is from Cavite and has been involved with dogs most of his life. He has owned American Cocker Spaniels, Toy Poodles, Saluki, and Labrador Retriever. Currently, he has Belgian Malinois helping him run his farm. He is the past president of the Philippine Doberman Federation and is the founding president of the Cavite Canine Club Incorporated. He is currently a member of the Board of Directors of the PCCI and serves as the Chairman of Corporate Planning Committee, the Publications Committee, and member of both the Membership and Registration Committees. Here's our show schedule. In the morning, our lineup will start with Group 3 the Terriers, followed by Group 7 Pointing Dogs. The afternoon judging session starts with Retrievers and Sighthounds, and lastly, the Companion and Toy Dogs. Our day to morning schedule starts with sheep dogs and cattle dogs, followed by spits and primitive types. In the afternoon, we have the pincher and snozzers, followed by scent hounds and dachshunds.
Hello, good morning. I'd like to welcome everybody to our show this weekend. It's the second show after the pandemic. Actually, it's not after the pandemic, but we're hoping that tuloy tuloy na ito until matapos ang lahat. And we're happy to see so many new faces, also the old faces. And we'd like to invite everyone to come help us celebrate this uh, shows. Uh, if you cannot, if you don't have a dog to join, why not come here and enjoy and look at the dogs? And, and uh, most of all, gain some new friends. Thank you everybody and hope to see you soon.
After more than two years of not being able to judge has been quite an experience not only in terms of our ability to assess <clears throat> the dogs that we have in front of us but also in terms of dealing with a lot of people all at the same time because as everybody knows we're not supposed to be uh, communicating or interacting with a lot of people you know at any one time and so this is something very new. I, I'm sure in the, not only uh, are the people um, feeling different under these circumstances, but also the dogs. And you can actually sense that because a lot of the dogs um, don't seem to be that used to the routine anymore. A lot of them also tended to be on the chubby side. Okay, I guess because the owners, just like the their beloved pets and companions could not really spend that much time exercising and preparing for the shows. 
However, it's such a refreshing sight to see new faces because for the past years prior to the pandemic, you kind of tend to anticipate who will be there. I mean, it's like seeing mostly the same faces. But the last two years apparently have brought on a new set of people who have de developed fondness for dogs. And that's, that's a very refreshing situation to be in. We're judging dogs now with a fresh set of eyes. So no preconditions. You barely can remember the dogs that were being shown to you. I guess not many of them, meaning the dogs that were being shown before, uh, are still being shown now. So it's, it's such a, a welcome situation to be, to be in.